Hey guys, it's Kristen from Rethink Tailoring. So I um, wore a sandal I haven't worn for a while and it broke at work. So I'm gonna see what I can do to fix it and make a video out of it because I got a new toy that will hopefully help me do my online classes. So um, I haven't done this before, so you're gonna have to go on this wild ride with me and see what happens. Okay, so I just laid a sheet down because I just didn't want to have my shoe on my table. I am using a den some denim thread and I've got my sandal. I have a small needle. I don't know. I may end up switching it out. I'm not really sure what's going to be easiest. My instinct tells me that something sharper is going to just be a lot easier on my hands. I'm also realizing some sort of a thimble would be handy but we're gonna give it a try first. So, grab some thread. I'm definitely gonna double up my thread um, just because I don't wanna have to deal with going through a bunch of holes or making extra holes. Oh, yeah, denim thread, super thick. So I'm gonna see if I can get it through this smaller needle Come on, friend, you can do it. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do my knot doubled up. We'll see if I regret not waxing this thread. Um, by waxing the thread, that would make this kink up a lot less. So I don't really know what to expect. So I have gotten that in there. Seems like about as far as it's gonna go. So I'm gonna want, I'm gonna hide my knot below here. I'm stitching through there and coming up on the top. Use my snips to actually push that through. Okay, and I'm gonna go right on back. Again, I'm using my snips basically, kind of like how you could use a, a thimble. Okay, I'm just trying to get over a little bit further, closer to the edge. So that's why I just scooted that line. So far, so good. Hopefully you guys can see okay. Oh, come on, here we go. Just cleared that rubber there. Gonna give it, again, a little push. I love these guys instead of scissors. They're so sharp, and as far as like cutting threads, it's so nice. And then, you know, I like to use it as a blunt tool as well, just to push things along, because why not? Okay, I, let's see. Assessing, assessing. Okay, so that, what I'm trying to just figure out is whether I want to continue one more stitch so that the edge, I think I do actually, just because that seam, or the edge, where the edge of the strap is, um, it's gonna be a, move, a moving part. So I'm actually going to maybe go through this a couple times and try to get through the exact holes that I originally created that may be easier said than done. Okay. 
what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna try to follow all the same holes but I'm gonna fill in these gaps see it's coming out right where I created that last hole While I'm trying to find that hole, I kind of just let the needle poke through just a tiny bit. The needles, I don't know if you can see it, um, it might be too hard, but obviously the tip of the needle is a lot narrower than the rest. So you can kind of peek through as like a little guide to see if you got in the right spot before puncturing a whole nother hole. Okay, okay. and just like I did on the other side when there was that moving part, um, I stitched extra. Let's see what we can see. You guys see that? So right here, that's a little bit more wobbly than I prefer, so I'm gonna go over that. So I'm coming out beyond where the strap was. And then coming back on here. So I do have, um, I actually, I hate using metal thimbles. It's just a personal preference. That's not to say that you um, shouldn't love it, but I actually like, I have these little silicone finger tips that I like. It actually works really well for pulling, which is would be handy for something like this. I wonder, let me quick see if I can find it. So I think this used to be white, <laughs> but you know, rubber kind of discolors. So yeah, I think this one is rubber. I think I've seen some silicone ones as well. We'll see if this has any life left in it because it looks a little, let's see, where's my camera? Looks a little crackly on there, but that'll do. So it just gives me, gives me a grip while I'm pulling that needle. But basically I'm done. So, you know, that kind of defeated that, but. Okay, now I got to figure out how the heck I'm going to tie this off. Because normally when I do my tailoring knots, I am tying into fabric. I'm going to go actually do this one spot one more time. So I have more thread if it ever did unravel. Yeah, it's a little bit easier on my hands. So I'm actually going through intersecting the thread that's there to tie into. Because I have enough, I can easily do it. This might be insane, but hey, I'm fixing sandals that I would have had to throw away. So who's going to judge? Okay, now I'm going to definitely vary my thread. Okay, and I'm actually going to give myself a little tail because what I actually plan to do is find some sort of a glue that I can put in there and figure out like a clamp to clamp that down. Obviously this thread I want in in there, um, but it just, I don't know, I like the idea of having the thread tail glued in there as well. But I can walk home now! Huzzah! So I haven't decided what kind of glue I'm going to do yet. We'll see. Um, maybe if you have any suggestions and I haven't done it yet, you should comment. So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing more online classes, and I am excited for that. Um, it'll be an experiment, so I hope that you're willing to go with that experiment with us a little bit. But this is kind of a, a fun exercise to figure out how this all works. So, um, again, make sure, if, depending on where you're at, we're on... Um, Instagram at Rethink Tailoring. We're also on Facebook at Rethink Tailoring. We're on Twitter, Rethink Lounge. And we also have a YouTube um, station as well. So, okay. Well, thanks guys for this wonderful experiment. And I've got some shoes. Do -do -do -do. Try to ignore the floor foot ickiness on